Welcome to Bundaberg, Queensland. I'm having a day out here with Auntie Beryl. She's lived in Bundaberg since the age of 15 years and she's showing me around this beautiful city with its majestic old buildings and also a trip down memory lane for her. So come with us on our journey and we'll do some exploring. The main street in Bundaberg is Bourbon Street. It's named after the surveyor Bourbon, who laid the principal section of the town. I love this street with its old buildings and quirky shops and beautiful bakery. Bundaberg Fire and Rescue Service. I really like how they have a wall of employees over the years and recognise their great service. What a nice gesture. Very early morning, well actually 5.30 in the morning, walk along the Burnett River with Auntie Beryl. There are three bridges across the River Burnett, all parallel with each other and all of various distances. The closest to the photo is the original old bridge. The middle services the rail and the furthest is the new bridge. This has to be my favourite place to have breakfast, the River Cruise Cafe, and it opens at 6am. We were both ready for breakfast. Well, if you're in Bundaberg, you have to visit the iconic Bundaberg Rum Factory. They do tours most days and it's a fun way to spend a few hours. Don't forget to go to the shop on the way out and buy your favourite tipple and souvenir. Here we have the Bundaberg barrel, known as such because it looks like a barrel. They've been making ginger beer here since the 1960s, according to Auntie Beryl. It takes three days to brew and they use local ginger. If you want to see an almost 360 aerial view of Bundaberg, Bundy as known by the locals, from the top of a large volcanic hill, then drive or walk if you feel inclined up to the top. It's called the Hummock. It hasn't been active for many million years, but I think you'd get warning if it was going to rock. <laughs> Thank you.
There are many other interesting places in Bundaboo, but I have to mention one place I really do love. It's the Bundaboo Botanical Garden, with all its international gardens and of course, its heritage listed homestead, the Fairy Mead House, and it has ties with the sugar industry in Bundaboo. Vandenberg has quite a few beautiful beaches very close to the city. Today Auntie Beryl and I decided to go to Bugara. This is Auntie Beryl's favourite beach and you'll see why. Not only is Bundaberg a great city, but the region's soil is very fertile. And did you know that Bundaberg is the tomato and macadamia nut capital of Australia? Well, that's what Google says. It also grows mangoes, sugarcane, pineapples, and much more. It's very fertile. Well, that's it, folks. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.